Hi everyone. So I'm going to do um, two videos um, today. Um, the first one, I'm going to finally um, backtrack and talk about um, what had happened in the last uh, couple of months in regards to my health. Um, I've been doing Weight Watchers for a couple of weeks, so I feel like a, like a week and a half now. So I wanted to kind of build up some days before I go over that. So I'm going to do a video on my Weight Watchers so far. Um, but I wanted to back up and talk about um, kind of what had happened last summer. Um, I'm actually outside today, as you can see, um, because it's just really nice out and no one's home. And so it's great. I can kind of um, really just express myself and go over some things. Um, so what had happened was a couple of um, last year when I was doing the um, Herbalife, um, I was enjoying it. I thought I was really working well and working out well and um, losing weight on it. And um, then um, it just, I couldn't, I couldn't pay for it anymore. I thought it was like just a little bit too expensive and I couldn't do it. Hi, you want to say hi? Yeah, what are you doing? I don't think they can see you down there. Okay, up up, you want to say hi? As always, you like to stick your nose yeah, I know because there's a plate of food over there, and so she's eyeing it. Eye the tiger. And then my other little, come here. My other, this is my Dogo, my Dogo Argentino. Come here. I think he's also a pit mix, but but he's definitely my, no, 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 no. Just say hi. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. I want to get my video set. All right, stop. Okay. So, um,. That might happen from time to time, as this is what they like to do, be very protective. So, um, anyways, so, um, what I was talking about was, um, how, I guess, basically, I always wanted to do it and really get into it and see if it works and see how much weight I could lose, but I couldn't afford it at the time. So I stopped, and then in January, finally, um... I was like, oh, I can definitely do this now. So, hold on one second. Kali! Be right back. Okay, so, um, like I was saying was that, um, so at that time, um, at the end of January, I started, um, I still wasn't feeling well, and so I started the program, and I was hoping that maybe losing some weight was going to be helping me out a little bit. And I was working on getting insurance from my from my job. Um, so, because my three months was in December, so I was trying to get my insurance for my job. And um, I had filled out all the paperwork, and I was supposed to get the insurance in, in February. So, the paperwork came through. In the meantime, I was doing the Herbalife. And the paperwork came through, and I was, I was told that my insurance was going to start on February 1st. So, for that whole week before February 1st, because February 1st was an interesting day, the whole week before February 1st, everyone at home was sick. Um, it was the end of January. January was extremely cold. Um, so, everyone was sick, and I started the program, and I was starting to feel things once in a while. I'm trying to remember all the symptoms because I want people to be aware that after some research... And after what happened, which is the story I'm going to tell you, um, I think it warrants knowing that there's no there's no dream combination or dream pill that's going to solve our problems if we first don't realize that the problem is exercise and nutrition and proper nutrition. Um, so it's really starting to really, really dawn on me uh, more and more and more that things are not going to change with anything on the exterior. They're going to change with what you put into the interior. So no pill is going to make it magic or is going to make it work. Um, I don't know if Weight Watchers, is, since it's a diet, um, is the answer either. But I think what's happening with Weight Watchers 
um, which I'll explain in another in the other video, is just a bigger awareness of how parts of what's in what we eat affect everything else inside of us. So that's where your points values come from. So um, I'm going to talk about that later, but basically the reason I'm not doing Herbalife and the reason, um, I mean, I'm not going to remove my videos, the, the, the videos that I've made about it in the past are true to whatever extent each person wants to take them at. Um, but I'm not going to remove them just because I'm no longer doing it and because of what happened to me. So what happened was, um, I started feeling during the week, like I was really hungry all the time and you're not supposed to be, you're supposed to be feeling full with these shakes. And I was following the guidelines. I was doing, you know, the amount of shakes per day that it was supposed to be, um, with the correct measurements, the spoons that come with it, measuring everything out. And I think um, I started feeling after like two days, I started feeling heart palpitations. Um, I started feeling uh, really drained, really tired. Um, finally, when it was time for me to really eat my, like my, I was, I think primarily I was eating real food only at dinner. So I was having maybe a snack or two during the day, but in between it was shakes, it was tea, um, it was what it was uh, whatever I was supposed to be doing, uh, water, a lot of water, whatever, and um, I just wasn't I wasn't feeling like the first time I had done it. Um, I was taking a lot of different pills from it. Um, I think one of them was called, now I'm starting to remember, one of them was called the Aminogen. The other one was the Multivitamin. Then the Tanque. Uh, plus I was taking my own folic acid. Um, and I, I can't remember what else. And it was like, no. Oh, and I think one called Total Control. I have them upstairs in my bathroom. But regardless of, it was a lot of pills. Plus very little real food plus shakes and this tea and after a couple days I really wasn't feeling good but the pounds were coming off that one week I lost seven pounds again so um, I don't know I, I was I love it for that that it just seems to make you lose weight quickly but the scientific reasons of why it makes you lose quickly is probably because of the hidden caffeine throughout everything, which was what in turn I figured was giving me the heart palpitations. Um, because I smoke, so I'm putting nicotine in my body, plus now I'm putting caffeine, loads of it in my body, and I think my body just can't handle it. There are plenty of people that do Herbalife and they don't, not even remotely happens what happened to me. So it was on February 1st, it was a Friday. I had just gotten the insurance information that day, um, or what I thought I had my insurance, but I had gotten paperwork that said my insurance was supposed to start February 1st. So I get home. I was feeling like crap, so exhausted, and I decide to eventually go lie down on the couch. I called my husband. I told him I wasn't feeling good and that I was going to lay down, and... Um, all of a sudden, I go and um, I'm, I'm sleeping, and then all of a sudden, it's a couple hours later, and I wake up because my husband had just gotten home. So I look at the clock, and it was um, like maybe like 10.30 or so, 10.30, maybe 11, and um, I, I, my stomach was killing me, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom and and I was uh, sitting down um, and I, I, I remember starting to go to the bathroom and there was no problems with it except for the next thing I know, I'm waking up screaming. So, and I, I didn't know where I was. I didn't, for a couple seconds, I didn't even know who I was. 
I didn't know where, where, who was around me. I had no idea. I had fainted and had a seizure. So I do know of my two underlying issues. I don't know if my two underlying issues, which is my PCOS and my prolactinoma, um, would be dangerous with what I was taking. Um, yes, I'm maybe stupid that I didn't consult with a doctor first and say, hey, with my underlying issues, could this something happen to me? But I feel like anything can happen to anybody with any underlying issues when they're taking products that are meant to quickly try and release things from your body and I don't know what happened to this day I don't know what happened all I know is that my from what my husband told me and from what my family members told me was that um I was sitting down and the next thing he heard was me thumping on the floor and um, he couldn't wake me up. It was probably about a minute or so, but he couldn't wake me up and he said, um, I think you, it felt like you stopped breathing, like you, you were shaking, you had foam coming out of your mouth. Um, you, I kept turning you back and forth and back and forth and nothing was working. It's like, I thought you died. It's like, I really thought I had lost you. It's like, I, I don't know what to tell you. He's like, I couldn't do anything. And then, and then I like, your eyes weren't opening. You were starting to go pale and you just kept shaking and foam coming out of your mouth. And and, of course, like, I had gone in the bathroom and I was planning on taking a shower, so I was completely naked and, like, lying there on the floor. And he's like, I, I didn't know what to do. And nobody could, nobody else could come and help you because, like, other family members, you know, it, it, that's right. Like, they don't have to come in and see me like that. It's not fair. And, and to have to deal with that. So... So it was a really, of course, like I had gone in the bathroom and I was planning on taking a shower. So I was completely naked and like lying there on the floor. And he's like, I, I didn't know what to do. And nobody could, nobody else could come and help you because like other family members, you know, it, it, that's right. Like they don't have to come in and see me like that. It's not fair. And, and to have to deal with that. So, so it was a really difficult situation and, um. And then all of a sudden, he said, my eyes started opening, like, wide-eyed, like, big bug-eyed. And he said, oh, my God, okay, thank God, at least her eyes are opening. She's responding to something. And all of a sudden, the next thing you know, I'm screaming. I'm like, no! 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 And he said, and I was sweating profusely and... And I was screaming, and and I do remember at that point, I do remember screaming, and I had no idea where I was. And then all of a sudden, when I was getting up, like, I was pushing him away, and then I went over to the sink, and I was staring at myself in the mirror. And then there, like, I realized, I'm like, I, I still was like, wait, who am I? Where am I? What What happened? And then a couple seconds later... I was like looking at him and I was breathing. I was like. And I was like a zombie and I was looking at him and shaking like this and going like back and forth. And then I'm like, oh my God, call 911. Call 911. And I was screaming and I was screaming, no, call 911. Call 911. No. It was psychotic. It was the scariest thing that has ever happened to me um it's just it's just one of those moments that you realize when you come back from it how powerless you are and the only power that you have is what you control going into you 
your body is a vessel of everything you put into it. Now, yes, that is so hypocritical. I'm a smoker, whatever. I understand. I know how horrible it is. I don't need anybody else telling me how horrible it is. I'm really desperately trying. It was the worst decision I ever made in my life. I would never be happy if my children in the future were to be smokers. But at the same time, it's it's your personal decision. It's the only way that I've found to deal with certain things and certain thoughts and feelings. And I can't find any other way that helps me relax that moment to release whatever bad things I'm thinking it's it's just it's so difficult because it's a fucking drug that messes up your head and I I when I went when I when I went to the hospital they did end up doing an MRI my prolactinoma was still normal well not normal but it hadn't grown any larger um they didn't do uh any blood work um I can't even remember now what they did do I think they just gave me um whatever it is that they did. like uh, just I don't even know what it is it's like a, whatever that clear liquid is that they just give you to give you sugar like a blue glucose or something I have no idea and they don't they don't know what happened they don't know what happened they couldn't give me any answers um, I think what's really horrible about the system that we're in, and then I come to find out that my insurance didn't take effect. So I now have like $1,600 in bills from that one incident. So the conclusion comes down to they didn't know what happened. They don't know what it's from. They can't say why, if it was what I was taking or not. But I know... Deep inside, I feel like I took my body too hard, too fast, too much. And when you look at the packages in the magazine of the products to buy, a full starter kit, which is in the 200s, I believe, has more stuff in it to take all at the same time. So... I don't really think, I don't really know if other people are getting sick, getting injured, dying from anything, getting any other side effects that are really bad, and I just, I'm not doing it anymore. I, it might not have been that, it might have been something else. I have fainted once before, but that that fainting that I did have before was not with a seizure um it was just simply uh like pressure um that I was putting on my body and then my brain just was like nope we need that pressure back and I was putting pressure on some sort of vein or something and um and so then my body fainted and then prior to that um I have fainted once before um from migraines uh, migraine related um, and but it wasn't too bad it was just like I didn't fully go unconscious it was just a small fainting and um, it, this one took the cake so um, I'm no longer going to be doing any herb life videos um, and because of my health related um, problems that were going on um, I kind of took a break from videos and talking about everything um the experience really kind of put my mindset in a different direction for the rest of the year stop but it's just figuring out now um I'm done I'm done being what I am I'm done I'm done dealing with what I've been dealing with um it's no longer going to be like this anymore. I just can't do it. Um, I'm tired of feeling tired. I'm tired of not having the energy. I'm tired of looking the way that I look. And I'm tired of people not giving... I mean, you. I have value as a person. 
<coughs> but a lot of people look at you different, and it's the truth. And I've been this way my whole life, up and down, up and down, and I just want to figure out what's wrong. And I don't want to do it in any mysterious way. I want my body to be acting its natural way. And to do that, I need to put things into it that are meant to make my body go in that way. Um, so I, I just can't, um, I can't do it anymore. For everybody else that's out there um, who was looking forward to seeing me do more videos about Herbalife and how I was doing and my experiences and if it was working or whatever, um, I'm sorry I'm not doing them anymore. Um, I really... I don't want to take the risks. Not that it doesn't work. It works for a lot of people. Um, I just can't take the risks anymore. I can't put things into my body. We're already putting so many chemicals into our bodies every single day all around us that we have no idea. And I'm just not going to put any more into it that I'm not 100% sure that I know what it is. Um, so that's pretty much it on that. And um, I am going to do my... Uh, doctor's visits uh, video and then I'm going to do my Herbalife video. So thank you for watching. Bye.